Uh, hello, uh, my name is Shrey uh, and I'm from the Freie University in Amsterdam. Uh, today I'm going to talk about our work on uh, multilingual Homo Saras. Uh, this work is for the Global Digital Humanities Symposium in 2023. So Homo Saras uh, is a bilingual vocabulary for LGBTQ plus terms. So by bilingual, I mean English and Dutch. Also, in fact, a lot of other vocabularies that are designed for LGBTQ plus terms are simply uh, uh, a transla translation of a subset of the terms included in the LGBTQ plus, uh, sorry, in the uh, Homo Saras vocabulary, uh, or they're somehow linked to the um, uh, Homo Saras vocabulary. So um, we would like to study, we would like to study how we can use machine translations to make uh, it easier to get uh, a, a multilingual Homo Saras. Uh, so our first research question is, how do automated machine translation perform on LGBTQ plus terms? A second research question is, uh, how can we uh, evaluate this uh, federated machine translation uh, approach? Uh, third one is that we would like to improve the results of this federated approach. Uh, we first performed a round of tests of existing uh, uh, state of state of the art uh, machine translators, including the one from Google, uh, Azure uh, Reversal, uh, DeepL, uh, Libra, and Amazon. Uh, we saw that uh, they can translate; they can handle um, uh, different numbers of uh, languages. Uh, so, um, uh, our first round of tests shows that uh, um, actually uh, Libra and Reversal, uh, the performance of these two are not as stable. Uh, Sometimes they give, uh, they fail to translate some specific uh, terms in LGBTQ vocabulary. Sometimes they just simply fail to return anything. Uh, for the rest, uh, uh, we do have not so very not so good performance. Uh, so we select these four, um, and then here are some uh, uh, examples. If you look at vertically, this first one is donor. Uh, you have different kinds of translations. Uh, for example, Google translated to donate donators. Uh, sorry for my Dutch. Um, so uh, actually, Homo Saras would translate it to donor run. So as you can see, two of them got it correct. So the the other one is legal name. Uh, for example, uh, then Google trans simply translated it as a legal name. Uh, but then actually, the um, the correct translation by Homo Saras is. Uh, uh, nam, uh, uh, recht. Um, so, um, of course, when you have multiple uh, machine translators, uh, you can kind of like take advantage of uh, uh, the, 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 the joint force of these uh, uh, translators. So what you can do is that you can perform majority vote on this, or you can perform weighted uh, uh, majority vote. That basically means... Uh, um, the weight, uh, the the good uh, uh, translators get a higher vote, uh, higher weight, uh, and uh, inspired by this work listed here, uh, we also like to see if there is any way we can make some kind of decision trees, uh, as our strategies to see how this can, uh, how we can improve the result. So uh, the the plot on the right is simply a visualized uh, uh, visualization of the the table on the left. As you can see. Uh, actually, Google performed the worst, and then Amazon, uh, and then Azer performed uh, uh, much better. Uh, so, if you simply combine uh, all the uh, all the all the uh, vote, uh, uh, if you combine all the translated terms uh, uniformly, uh, then you can already get a better performance. Uh, it's even better if you consider the weight. Uh, of course, then you can then design different kinds of strategies and then see how it would. Uh, 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 be improved. Unfortunately, if you look at the upper bound, the upper bound means that there is only, at least one translator that captured that specific term, which matches the pref label. So this is only just barely, uh, uh, not even 50%. This is a very sad result. If you look at uh, the details, then you will see that uh, actually these machine translators are constantly making similar kind of mistake. For example, they translate the man people to Manson, uh, but actually, um, a more gender or a better way to translate it is person. Uh, some cases are more like the trans uh, Homo Saras prefer uh, terms that are more gender neutral. Uh, some of them are um, yeah more refined. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, some of them are very very. The difference between uh, some of these terms are very subtle. Uh, 
So it really depends on the eyes of the uh, relies on the eyes of uh, the experts. So finally, we'd like to see how we can kind of improve this result. So recall that uh, I just presented only 49, around 49% is like the upper bound. So this is actually pretty painful. So we'd like to see if there is any way we can, by adding rules uh, to refine the translated results. Um, then the other way is that we can try to ask a bunch of volunteers uh, to give us crowdsourcing uh, results and then see if we can improve it. Uh, so uh, by adding these uh, uh, rules on the left, uh, what we get is that uh, we can we now have a new uh, upper bound, which is very uh, well much better. So uh, it increased from forty nine percent to seventy percent, um, and as you can see, so by using these rules, the performance of all of them also increased. So um, this is really really delighting result as a as a result. Uh, even better, if you lo only look at those uh, uh, terms that are that are agreed by all the translators, uh, namely, uh, uh, so that is uh, uh, forty two percent. So, uh, if you only look at these ones, the uh, the 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 number, the amount that matches the pref label is just below eighty percent. That means even if you just don't know anything about this uh, uh, specific, if if you don't know these linguistic rules. Um, you are just there to trust uh, the 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 majority uh, the vote the majority votes uh, of uh, of these translators. Uh, the result is still pretty okay to be considered. So this gives us a chance to to to, uh, to take uh, um, the uh, suggestions from these machine trans this federated uh, the the translated terms by these federated translators. Um, as a good, as a very good uh, suggestion uh, for the for the experts. Of course, we also tried to trust the humans. Uh, we have some volunteers. Uh, we have all the pref labels and the commands, and then uh, we have all the terms that are there by the machine translators, and then see how can um, uh, volunteers improve this result. Unfortunately, uh, our test shows that uh, uh, after we ask them. To, to work on 20, 200 uh, terms, uh, the the uh, the match with pref label is only around 36%. Uh, even worse, uh, for Polish and German and Spanish, we also notice that uh, sometimes the volunteers simply cannot understand, uh, simply cannot find a, a proper term to translate. Uh, so this uh, gives us uh, uh, the warning that uh, uh, there's uh, the need uh, that we have to involve some experts. Uh, but anyway, so uh, stay tuned. Uh, we will have more results coming. Uh, thank you very much.